Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your love reading, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Sagittarius, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. We have many messages here. Let's see. What do we have for you? Okay. So what I am getting here, Sagittarius, is that this person that we are connecting in this reading for you, um, this person kind of left left you out in the cold they walked away um for some of you this is someone who blocked you but in general this person pushed you away and um, there is something here about be, them being avoiding it's like you get you, you might have i feel that there was a situation where this person came across as someone who was avoiding you or maybe it's like you got that impression from them and they started to kind of pushing you away and at some point this person just left they walked away they left you out in the cold they pushed you away and it was shocking it was unexpected and I feel that it was out of the blue mm -hmm. this person is going through awakening though there is something here about them healing and I feel that you are healing at the same time from that situation but um, there is this energy of awareness what I am getting here that this is someone who feels an urge to talk with you we have you know confession it's like they want to come clear we have messages they want to text you there is something here about them trying wanting to explain something to you that they made mistake that they judged situation in the wrong way that they were unbalanced or there was a lack of balance uh, regarding particular situation yeah it's like this person really wants to confess something to you they want to talk they want to send you a message it feels that that's what they're going to do they're very deep in their emotions at the moment It's like they, they are aware that they've made a mistake or they treated the situation very, very poorly. <sighs> Fantasy as an overall energy. Th this is someone who at some point sold you a false sense of reality. They got distracted. Mm -hmm. Show me more. Ten of Swords. So something indeed ended here between the two of you. There is also a sense of betrayal attached to this energy. Six of Pentacles. It's like this person was giving something else more attention. We have the hermit. Now they are in a hermit mode, thinking about the situation, trying to figure out and wanting to come forward. Page of Cups, communication. You might be dealing with Virgo. The Emperor. Aries energy. You might be dealing with Divine Masculine or you are Divine Masculine. King of Cups. Three of Pentacles and Six of Swords. The Tower is an overall energy for this part of the reading. So you might be dealing indeed with Aries. We have Virgo excuse me, 
and we also have Scorpio energy. It feels like this person ended things. But there is a sense of betrayal. I feel that this person really betrayed your trust. And at the end it felt metaphorically saying like this person stabbed you in the back. There is something here about... Yeah, for some of you, you, would, you might even say here that, you know, this is someone who breadcrumbed you. They, they, again, they sold you a sen false sense of reality. It were, they were not fully transparent. It wouldn't surprise me if you say here, Sagittarius, that it felt like this person really kind of played you. There is something here about them giving more attention to something else or always finding something to be more important than this connection. And now they are in a hermit mode, wanting to reach out to show you that they have good and pure intentions. Now they want to bring more stability to the situation, show you that they are emotionally available, wanting to work with you. It's like this person wants you to work with them in order to rebuild that tower. Six of Swords. For some of you, there might be physical distance between the two of you, but this Six of Swords, it's like this person wants to wants this connection to move on from that circumstances. It's like this person wants to move on with you from that situation. They are going for a tower moment. This is someone who caused the tower moment at the same time. Again, it was something shocking, unexpected. Out of the blue, it brought change. And it feels like now they want to rebuild this. Show me this person's feelings towards Sagittarius. You didn't care with someone who has abandonment issues. Hmm, okay. So they feeling Sagittarius. Let's see. Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Hierophant. You might be dealing with Scorpio. We also have Taurus. This person is missing you. This is someone who took opportunity to walk away first because they assumed that at some point you were walked away from them. That's what they did. Mm -hmm. And it is because this person has a baggage or there is some sort of kind of unhealed situation that they need to pay more attention. This person is aware. I feel that they're trying to heal from this, but this is someone who has serious abandonment issues. And they took opportunity to walk away because they thought that at some point you will walk away from this connection. They are missing you. This is someone who still has passion for you. This is someone who still is seeing a potential that things can work out between the two of you. And at the end of the day with the Hierophant, <coughs> excuse me, this person wants something stable. They want a high level of commitment. Things changed. Judgment, they want to resurrect this. They want to rebuild that tower. They want to talk. They want to revisit the situation. This is someone who still wants to take, um, they want to take action in their, in their feelings. Yeah, Chari, they want to chase you. Action. Cancerian energy. Could you please show me this person's actions towards Sagittarius in the near future? immediate future number 44 might be quite important or numbers 44 might be of significance for your situation actually we have num angel number 444 so it might be worth checking what that angel number means because there is a hidden meaning behind this frequency 
Okay. Oh gosh. Sagittarius, this person is going to reach out to you because we have the fall. The fall as an overall energy for their actions suggests that this person will take a leap of faith. And they will reach out to you because they want to be given a new beginning. A chance. You might be dealing with um, Aquarius, Aries, um, Scorpio, Leo. Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, um, Taurus. And we have Aries, Gemini as well. Four of Cups with the Four of Pentacles. They are reminiscing, they are nostalgic. This is someone who has regrets that they walked away from your offer of love. At some point, I feel this person really pushed you away. They rejected you, they were holding back. They rejected that, that relationship, that connection. But at the same time, they are still holding on to it. That's the thing. We have a three of swords, this person betrayed your trust, they broke your heart. It might be a case that there was a breakup between the two of you, but they caused so much sadness and emotional disappointment. And the thing here is that they are heartbroken themselves over this situation. This is someone who's not over you with the world. No. They want to talk about the situation and they will take a leap of faith and they will reach out. We have this message here. We have confession. This is someone who wants to come clear, who wants to express why. It, it feels like they are ready because they did some sort of kind of a certain amount of healing. They are ready to talk about their emotions. They are ready to be more vulnerable with you and they will take that leap of faith. This is someone for some of you, this is someone who will reach out within a week or two weeks. Show me the outcome. They want to talk about what, what happened between the two of you. Judgment. Mm -hmm. High Priestess and the Devil. Card Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups here suggests that at the moment there's an overall energy it suggests that someone here walked away. There might be no contact situation, but this person is coming back. You might be dealing with Scorpio, Sagittarius. We have Capricorn and very strong Pisces, Cancerian energy. They're going to reach out to you with the judgment. They will try to resurrect this connection. High Priestess with the devil. <laughs> There is something that still needs to be addressed and it feels like at least in the near future when they will reach out and start talking about what might ha what might have happened between the two of you the high priestess with the devil suggests the devil card suggests that there is still something that they are not that they will be not speaking about and there is a need for them to talk about this but it it feels that when they feel ready they will, they will address something here. You're dealing here with someone who has, who has a baggage. That baggage might be very, very strongly connected with, with an older feminine energy. It can be a mother figure. It can be auntie, older sister, you know, relative. But this is, a, this, I'm getting a feminine energy all the feminine energy and it's like this person wants to share it with you they want to speak up about this but it's like there is that blockage however you will see when this person will reach out to you uh, progress because I feel that indeed this person did a certain amount of healing but this situation regarding that feminine energy it might need to take it's like this, it, this person needs to take more time or more there is a there is a need of more healing in order for them to fully open up about this i feel that they will mention it but not fully addressing the very core of the issue however this person is going to be more vulnerable with you and they will i see them talking a lot 
about what happened between the two of you. And yes, you can expect some sort of confession. They will reveal something to you. However, the very core of, of the issue here, and I'm getting someone, who, this is someone who has abandonment issues, um, lies very much, oh it's, oh, it's mainly attached to that feminine energy or the feminine energy. Nevertheless, you can expect this person mentioning something of this kind, trying to, to explain why they acted in a certain way. And the reason why they still care is because they still care. They feel unfinished business with you. They have love for you. But this person, um, it's very much conditioned by their past. They are doing the healing. They do. And you will see that they will be more vulnerable with you. And they will, it's like this person is ready to talk about what happened between the two of you, why it happened. And that's why I feel that they, this, 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 this situation regarding that all the feminine energy will be kind of mentioned, but in order to them to fully open up, and start talking from the very beginning why um, why this person is acting the way why this person acted the way they acted um, it's it feels like they it needs more time but um, this is someone who indeed has a baggage and who is very much conditioned by the past but they are you will see progress they are ready to talk about about, about, as I mentioned, about what happened between the two of you and also about, uh, they will mention here something regarding that issue. So you will hear from them here, Sagittarius. This person is coming back. Sagittarius, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Sagittarius, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I am sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.